gonna try and figure out how to drift in GTA since the update. Because the update really fucked over drifting and the whole community. There's a, been a lot of stuff on YouTube It's like, a hey, drifting is fucking dead. Which I don't exactly think is. Especially since I've been like spending the last three hours trying to figure out how to fix the system. Which I think I might have. I think I might have fixed it. Um, I'm, there's definitely going to be more stuff that's going to come up because Rockstar's Rockstar. Um, but for now, I think I've found like a pretty good edge to work off of. So if you guys ever find any new tips or anything, I'd love for you guys to put it in the comments so I can um, make better videos and like more advanced videos. Um, but for now, I'm going to show you guys what I've learned so far. And this is like a live commentary. Like, I'm talking as I'm playing right now, so if I fuck up, don't, don't judge. Please and thanks. Uh, yeah, um, I have only tried this with the Reminiscent Fido, so there's probably going to be other vehicles that will work better, work worse. Uh, just let me know in the comments if you guys test it yourself. Um, yep, there's going to be a few different things that we're going to start with. Uh, so since there's a removal of double clutching, we're going to basically have to learn a do new system, which I think I've started. And I'm in the solo open, that's great. Um, but with this new system, I feel like it's a lot better in a way. Like, it may not be, but it, it's gonna work, I feel, for a while at least. It's where you're gonna have to fine tune your uh, traction and how well you stick to the road. I know it's uh, raining right now, that's why I'm like, I was gonna drift in this part. Uh, outer parking lot out here, but I know some people are going to be like, oh, it's raining, it's easier in the rain, so that's why I'm going to go to this underground parking area. Um, but yeah. Like, I was really disappointed when Rockstar screwed up the double clutch, because I was like, that's when I was really getting into uh, drifting in GTA. It was really annoying, so... What I've been doing is using the SNS pistol. You guys probably can probably use anything you want, but since there's an extended mag, um, each clip sh uh, holds 12 rounds, and I feel like that's kind of like the perfect little number, especially when you're slamming a vehicle. So you, if you guys already know, you, you can you can do like the no damage thing. It's, I feel like it's a little bit tedious. So what I do is I put one clip or two clips into each rim to lower the traction. So I just shoot. Oh, all the rims. Do this. If I shoot all the rims, it's gonna slowly lower the traction. Like, if I get into this, which I'm not going to, because I just want to make a short video, uh, you'll you'll easily be able to tell that there's a difference. Um, like, it's a lot more slidey, and maybe it's more smooth, maybe more sensitive. Um, you guys, it's kind of fine-tuning, which I really like, so you guys can kind of do whatever you want. You can probably use three or four clips if you are really wanting to be, have like sensitive um, rims. But yeah, Th this was used a lot, um, like originally, just to like lower vehicles that couldn't be sent. But since there's already the the new feature, which I really like, which is where you can go into your interaction menu and slam it. Um, it's kind of just not really used anymore. But, the tr that also incorporates traction, but if you do the new function, it's not going to do anything to your traction. So, that's going to help with drifting a lot. Um, as you can already tell, it's a lot more smooth. Um, but yeah. Another thing, since there is no double clutch, you're really not going to want to have full full throttle all the time. What I've kind of figured out is, like, if we stop and we just full like go full throttle, there's a lot of sl like a uh, um, backspin, which is going to help because that kind of just proves that there is going to be a lot more um, force in the back tires when you're turning. So what I've been doing is I've been half throttling when I'm just moving forward. And then when I want to fully spin, I full throttle. And then it gives more power to the back tires, and it'll make it go spin faster, which will make you go um, on an angle more. But a really good way to do this is when you're about to 
slide. It's probably not the best place to do it. There's a lot of speed bumps. And it seems like it stops sprinting. Yeah, probably the best thing to do is when you're like half throttling and then you want to do a turn. Right before you like turn, you want to press down on your uh, bumper for your clutch. So it like kind of does a little bit more of an initiation with the drift. I'll try to get a good example. So you're going to half throttle here. And then right as you're going to turn, right, right around that corner, what I usually do is like I turn one way and then as I turn back, I'm going to press down on the bumper or your clutch button, which is maybe A or bumper, I don't know. Um, then you're going to want to like, it's going to do more force. But as you're already going forward with that half throttle, it's going to, oh, that was bad. It's going to initiate the drift a little bit better. So half throttle, turn, and then full throttle. And then you're just going to want to do what you used to do, where you kind of tap your clutch or your bumper a little bit, just like to maintain it. And then you guys will slowly start to like learn by yourself that like where to full throttle and where not to full throttle. Like mid, like mid turn there, you could always like de throttle a little bit so you can have a longer turn. And yeah. Another thing is, if you know you're like not going to make that turn all the way, just let go of your throttle and hold your clutch. Because then that will uh, keep the angle of the drift a little bit longer and then like reinitiate the acceleration. So that's just a few tips that I've found out myself and it's going to make drifting a lot better, I feel. And maybe I'm going to have to make another fix video because maybe they'll reintroduce clutch, double clutch or do something weird um but yeah so that so far is what i've learned um before this i was actually gonna try to make a video on um no tire drifting which is basically where you get rid of your tires and then you just <laughs> ride on the rims itself but it's honestly not that pleasant like the, the sounds just kind of annoying after a while and yeah but if you guys have any other tips that you want to share with the rest of the community, or if you guys want to share this video with your other friends that want to drift, or if you want to leave just comments or like critiques or anything, um, that would be really appreciated in the comments. Uh, I'd, I'd like for you guys to subscribe so you can stay updated if I make more content like this, which I probably will. I'm definitely going to try to make more glitch videos, um, if there's like money glitches or stuff like that that come up so yeah uh yeah make sure to share <laughs> i also just want to try and get out there more so you guys can get more content and get more tips and advice so thank you guys for watching have a great rest of your day